and it, it, at this point, it probably already seems obvious, but I just want to reiterate it just so that the audience had, had some understanding of what, uh, what really resonates with a lot of your customers. But what are the examples of deliverables that you pitch to these customers? And, you know, what, uh, what really resonates with them um, and the providers that you work with? Uh, do you mean in terms of outcome promises, as it were? Yeah, when, you, when, uh, when you're talking about Oxy Health and the, the platform and, and how it may actually benefit uh, providers, you know, what are some of the deliverables that uh, you can promise that really resonate with them? So it, because it's healthcare, we, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a, a mixture of, it's a package of benefit. And so right. it's around safer, higher quality and efficient care. So um, it's not appropriate when you're in a caring industry just to focus on the efficiency. And by the way, the efficiency is operational as well as kind of the crude dollars and cents cost improvement. Uh, it's all three. And so your, your, your customer is the, the nursing director or the chief medical director officer. And so they do start from patient experience, which they regard as not optimized, staff experience where they have turnover issues, vacancy issues, a nasty war for talent. And of course, then how can I, 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 I make my, my staff in an operation more efficient? So it's the mixture. For, for us, we come very much from the point of view of helping the staff help the, uh, the patient. And that's where they, they need a planning tool from actual early warning signs and risk factors. So the offer really is to say, look, we've got a platform that for the first time will quantify risk factors and early warning signs based in a very deep evidence base. This will give you foresight. With that foresight, you can do a tremendous number of things. So that's what one. Secondly, um, we help you in a very practical way with the change management, because let's be honest, healthcare IT has done some horrible things in provider organizations. And also you have leaders here who are not used to integrating a workflow tool because they've not had one. So this move to data enabled care, what we call vision-based patient monitoring and management needs support. So very sophisticated customer success team and it's very easy to slot in. And although you will end up changing your protocols, you don't need to change anything and you'll still get benefit. Mm. And the third piece is benefits realization, which is really providing them with some assurance that we're not just going to come in with some numbers from somewhere else, claim a benefit and then leave them to it. We'll help them actually assess their business case and their clinical case, write their board paper. Once that board paper has gone in, we will actually provide them advisory. We, we prefer not to do the whole survey and data crunching but we'll provide them with formats templates tools and advisory on how they can then check they've got the roi to justify moving their whole care system across to us and so i think that support on the platform at the ward level and on the business case is really what gives them the earns us their trust in order to adopt wow you make it uh, extremely easy Five single steps providers. to yeah. transform your care. That's all it takes. Wow. And, and uh, to participate in that process of, of um, helping understand in a lot of different ways how it might be beneficial. That's really and, great. I, and to notice you're going to step change and then every year because of the learning system, your staff will improve their own way of working mm -hmm. uh, quite apart from what we'll ship you in terms of new product. Interesting. 